Uh, hi guys, Lou here. I just realized much, much better. So, new filming location. I apologize about the color over here. I'm filming on an old, really bad desk. And I probably should start coming over here, but I don't like it around this corner. There's my baby. Anyway, so... Um, today we are going to be customizing, or I should say doing a repaint on Max, the surprise mini Winnie. So I got a bunch, I got three of him, so, and he is already almost completely white, so it's really easy and it doesn't take as much time as it normally does. Normally I have to do two layers of white, it just takes so long. So, yes, um, he's my scraped up Max, if you don't notice that, my friend. I don't know what happened to him. And yes, yeah, so let's get started. First, let me go over what you're going to need. You're going to need a mini winnie, preferably white, but you can have any of them. Just step one, if you're going to use one that's not white, do two coats or however many you need of white or primer. You'll see what I mean by white. You're going to need a paintbrush, a working area. I have this. Oops, oh no, oh, okay. Um, you're gonna need some water, just in this painty container. <clears throat> you're gonna need acrylic paint. So, I have all of these, but notice one, it's white, and it's like there's none left, so I could just go out and get another white container. And so, I have a brown, burnt, amber, amber, black. I, I really can't tell you the names right off the top of my head. Let me go get the catalog. Those came with the customized briar. Or, no, paint. It came in the, the paint your own course. It is the activity kit. And let me, ooh. Sorry. Looking at the back. So the colors are... Burnt Sandera, I don't know how to say that. Burnt Amber, Black, White, which is in the other container. Raw Simia, and Yellow Orc. York. York? I don't know. But it doesn't come, well, it comes with two horses, which I've already painted. And they were like the, um, little bit, either little bit or pat pills. If there's any other ones. Any of those. Not classics, traditional, or... Save them my arm mini one here. So, yes, yeah, I picked him just because, you know, he's already white. So, now let's really start. Okay, here we go. So, step one is to make sure the horse is close to white, as close as you can get them. Mine's really close already. So, and then you're going to need to mix um, the paint. I'm getting paper because I'm going to set him on this and also grab my thing. So, I got paper to. Mix them. So I'm gonna start. Oh, I need to grab one more thing that I forgot to mention. Okay. Also, you're gonna need a popsicle stick. I don't really like using jumbo, but I guess got a little bit that I lost another my smaller ones. Or a pencil or something like that. I'm not using a pencil. So, anyways, um. Now, let's start. So, step one, paint them all white or as close to white as you can get them. I would do a little more on his back area because it's just, I just don't feel like waiting. So, if you're like me and I want to do it now. Anyways, um, <laughs> sorry, um. So, step one is to get a picture of a horse. I personally have a horse, and it's in a calendar. Let me go grab it. Um, that I really like. Let me find it. So...
Yeah, I don't know where that calendar went. Yeah, this isn't it. So, it wasn't a calendar, but whatever. I know what it looks like. So, we're going to start painting. So, if you want, you can get this. The little catalog, see where you can find it. Just read along, buy it, and then it comes with the paints and stuff. So, it's really nice. For real, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with a black base, so it's going to be a darker colored horse. Um, on along, so I'm going to show you the colors. Along its back, and a little farther down, it's going to be a darker color. Then from about its, um, like, shoulder, or shoulder down, or ch chest down, um, it will get like true. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of my black, or yes, some of my black, and throw it on the other page. Rather too much than not enough is what I like to say, because if you don't have enough, you're not gonna be able to make the the color. And so I need to rinse it because I'm going into a different color. And I'm really nice with my paints. I'm really gentle with them. Dying, 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 da, 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 da. So, okay. Your hands are going to be covered if you're like me by the end. Um, if you're not really like me, then maybe your hands won't. Well, but I can't guarantee anything. Anyways, I'm just, I like getting my hands. I don't like my hands like that, but it just happens. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to mix it with yellow orc. And it's really just, I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's contrast. I don't, I don't know. It's going to be a contrast thing. Okay, and um, now I'm going to mix, and let's see, and I'll see if I need any more colors. Yes, I'm definitely going to need some more color, so what color would it be, because right now it's kind of looking brownish or gray. I don't know how much I like it right now. Color woman, here to the rescue. Okay, um, I don't know why I just did that face. Oh, well, that's not good. Paint booger. Eh. Uh, just the color made me laugh. Next, 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 I like making funny noises. Ooh. So I'm going to use this end for a light color and then that end for a dark color just because I think that's magical. And Okay, the white really gave me the color I was looking for. Kinda looks ugly, but I like it. On the camera does. I need some more white though. This video is gonna be long. 
like all my videos. Most of them, I should say. I should say all, because I have a few really short videos. Because either my friends made me stop them because they said that my viewers were going to be bored and never watch me again. Or because I just did something that only took a little bit that didn't take too long. Which is a surprise because that's everything that I like. From nails to this. There goes the first little dot the pink dot the pink. Sorry. I like making more faces. It's fun. So yes, just just light strokes. And now I'm gonna take some straight. I think it's burnt amber or burnt sienna. Yeah, burnt sienna, and just go right down the back. Give them a dorsal line, and just dorsal line, dorsal line, dorsal, dorsal, dorsal line. And it really just like comes into the color and looks amazing. Personally, um, I think that this paint color is really cute in my app. I do, and um, so you know, opinion not backed. And its tail really matches the color right now, so I might just leave it the color how it is, so that way I don't have to paint its tail. His tail. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the what you'll need. You're also gonna need um, a coat, something to go over it, which I do have. I do have myself. Okay. Oh, I know. That's if I do say so myself, not if I do have myself. Yeah. And. Colors coming out really nice right now, and I'm really happy with that. So, next part. So, now I'm going to take some water and let it kind of run down. On him, I know the water and oil based paints, I know it won't remove it. It's exactly why I say that. Unless you're not using the right kind of paint, then maybe it will, but use the right kind of paint. Just stab it. I don't want it to be on his stomach. I want it to be more on his like I want it to be thicker on his shoulders and leg starts of his legs. And so now I have to dry it because now I got it wet. And sometimes what I find to do is take it and cover it in the other color while it's still wet. That works as well. So 
Oh, sorry about my quietness. Concentration. Oh, that was like constipated concentration. Get it? Uh huh. I'm fine. Yeah, not really. Anyways, um, next colors. Like I said, I'm gonna lighten. So this part, I'm just gonna take a little bit of um. Ross and yeah, I don't know how to say that. And I'm just gonna take it and um mix it with some white. And that'll be my I think it was just the symbol work. You need kind of a lot of this one, so you need a lot of all of this. Rather rather too much than not enough, right? I say that a lot. I have to a lot. Well, I don't have to say it, but you know what I mean. It comes into a good situation to say it a lot. <laughs> That's what I should have said in the first place. Okay. So I'm almost out of that color, and then I think it needs it might need to be a little bit darker, so I'm just gonna get a tad bit of burnt. And yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys know how to say that, let me know. I know I'm saying it wrong. And mix it together, and I'll give you like a little burnt, not so burnt. <laughs> Get it? It's the same. Hold on, just the burnt, not. Never mind. Okay. Just never mind. And wow, right on cue with color, meaning it's perfect. Okay, so I need to get my horse back, which I showed in between one of my things. And And it matches his hooves really close, so I might have to repaint his hooves. So there's a lot of contrast and color going on here. I'm going to smear it with my thumb. That's how I get my colors to mix nicely. Just smear, 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 smear. Smear, 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 smear. Now, horses, they don't look perfect. So, if you have the chance, make them have a few flaws. I mean, not paint flaws, or not like mold flaws or something like that. But, I mean, like, make them have a few little, I don't know. I don't know. You know. Sorry. It's something I'm kidding my class always says. So now I have to do his head and his neck. Try, try you horse. He's good. Okay, so I'm <laughs> the weirdest faces. 